Well, good morning. It's Crazy Cheap Chick, and I just got back from the grocery store. Um, but before I show you what I found at the grocery store today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my process. I probably do the same things that you do. Um, I clean out my refrigerator, get rid of anything bad. Hopefully there's not a lot if I've done a good job the previous week. Wipe down all the shelves. Um, and honestly, if that refrigerator is not empty, why am I going to the grocery store? I don't need groceries if I've got groceries. Um, I make a menu of what I think we will eat that week, the upcoming week. Um, but that's subject to change because sometimes when I go to the store, I find something less expensive than what I'd planned. For example, I might be planning on pork chops, but maybe they have a special on, um, hamburgers. And so I'll switch out pork chops for hamburgers to save money. Um, then I go through the refrigerator and pantry and note what I need. And I come up with a pretty detailed list before I go to the grocery store. I go through the ad and see if there's any loss leaders, but let's face it, there have not been a lot of loss leaders lately, at least not in my area. And the things that they have on sale are usually processed foods. And I am trying really hard to eat real food, to eat lean meat, vegetables, kind of a Mediterranean style diet. Um, not a lot of processed foods. I think it'd probably be healthier for me if I can stick to that. I'm not saying I'm doing great at it, but I'm doing okay. <laughs> Put it that way, okay. And um, I load all of the coupons I can to my Dylan's loyalty card. And I look for coupons on the internet for the things I'm gonna buy, but I hardly ever find any. And just like you, we have the same uh, resources available to us, such as coupons.com or whatever. But now let's turn this around. I'm gonna show you what I got. And then if you're good at the end, I'm gonna tell you a story to either delight or terrify you. I don't know which yet. <laughs> I love Gouda cheese. I just love it. No, we got here. Look at that. Even their clearance stuff is just so high. Take that though. I guess I'll get this. Well, we seem to be doing some remodeling in the store, which probably means we're going to have a lot more stuff on clearance. Well, I left my uh, mascara in the travel trailer down in Dodge City. This kills me. $15.29. I'm not paying it. I guess we'll try the wet and wild. And since they're remodeling the store, they seem to have a lot of um, extra clearance stuff. <laughs> Weird stuff. I spent $163.54 at the grocery store today, and in just a second, I'm gonna tell you why I spent so much. The basic reason is they're remodeling the store, so they had a lot of extra clearance stuff. But let's just go through it real quick. Potatoes, $4.49. Blueberries were $1.49 a package. Some grape tomatoes, one was $2.74, one was $3.49, because I had a coupon. Sweet potatoes, $2.40. Celery, $1.89. Cilantro, 89 cents. Half and half, $5.49. Milk, $2.39. Some carrots for $2.49. This really bad but yummy purchase of Oreos for $4.99. Some avocados for $3.89. And some tomatoes, I think they were $2.79. Non, $3.49. Now, I bought this mascara for $3.79. They had mascara as high as almost 20 bucks, And I left my mascara in our travel trailer when we came home. And so I need some mascara to get me by. Hopefully, this will be fine. Um, onions, $3.19. My yogurt was $1.67 a container. One of them, of course, rang up for $1.66 because it's three for five. Some really expensive bread for $3.99. Now, at some point, you have to say, 
How much am I willing to pay for something? The bread I really like has gone up to $4.59. I wasn't willing to pay that. We don't eat that much bread. And this was on sale for $3.99. This was probably the best deal. They had this asparagus on sale. This rang up for $0.69. Cents. Topped off my spaghetti sauce because it was on sale for $1.49. And roast was on sale. Um, this rang up for $27.20. It was $5.99 a pound. This is four and a half pounds. Um, I found all of these mac and cheese for $0.49. Cents. I have seven grandkids, so they don't care what shape it is. And every th the rest of this is all clearance. And one of my grocery store friends said, you, you ought to check back every day because there's going to be a ton of stuff on clearance because of the store remodel. So they had this Bob's Red Mill Pearl Barley. I've never eaten barley before. So I'm going to try it for $1.96. This is a really good deal. These veggie soup mix. It's just dried vegetables. Looks like a lot of lentils in there. For $1.13. And the prepper in me couldn't handle it. I had to buy all five of them. And this stuff will last forever. Makes it be a really good base for a soup. I'm telling you, groceries are going to start getting even higher than they are. I know no one believes me, but I do a lot of reading of government reports, and it's coming. Um, broccoli, 312 for this whole big bag. Got some spinach for dollar three. Some romaine blend uh, on clearance for two fourteen. Now remember. These have a best buy date. Today's April 8th. And so for two days. But it'll that's a best buy date. In the United States, there's no such thing as an expiration date except on baby formula. And so they're saying it'll be best if you use it within the next couple of days, but I guarantee you it'll be good for two or three days beyond that. Um, this little vegetable medley for $1.55. And some cauliflower for $1.00. 97 and I think cauliflower is for $3.49 each and I don't need that much cauliflower so between what's in here and this bag I'll have plenty. Um, this cheese was on clearance for $4.27. I'm having company this week so this will be a great appetizer. Got two of these honey hams. Uh, they were reduced to $2.16 but I had a coupon so this one rang up for $1.66 and that one rang up for $2.16. Some anything in the red net bag at these stores, you know, Kroger has taken over the world on groceries, um, is 99 cents. I haven't had jicama in so long. I also got this clearance stew meat for 6.90. Some smoked gouda for 2.74. Man, I love gouda. This lettuce for dollar 57, and this fruit. Protector for, what was it, $1.75 each. I got three of those. Keeps your fruit from turning brown. No one should be so excited to find Clarence Pimento Cheese, but I was super excited to find it for three oh five because it's, you know, most of these markdown prices are half, at least half, up to 75%. And this is normally $5.99. And this tzatziki sauce was $2.25. And let's see, what's on here? These beans were marked down to 68 cents. And the soup was marked down to 78 cents. Some mushrooms for $1.48, some spring roll wrappers for $2.12. And this is just some dressing, balsamic fig dressing. And I got all of these. Now I'm going to have to email the store and fight with them a little bit because it said these were 95 cents each, but they all rang up for $1.33 and I didn't catch it. Um, but I bought one of these last week. It's really good. So I went back and bought some more because sometimes you can take a low quality meat and just put a little fancy sauce on it and it tastes really good. These little bowls were 21 cents each. I found three of these tomato soups. They were normally $3.99, and so $0.92 cents each. This pasta for $1.48, 
and then two produce bags, 99 and 99 cucumbers and tomatoes. Um, it's more than I normally spend because I usually don't spend more than 125. It's usually more around 115. But when you find clearance stuff, you just need to grab it, especially if it'll last a really long time, like canned beans or soup mix or tomato soup, because it's a treasure hunt. You never know when you're going to find uh, what you need. And like this mac and cheese lasts forever. Uh, canned pasta sauce lasts forever. Um, so grab it when you find it. And I will probably go back this, to the store again this week and see if they have more. Because if they're marking a lot of stuff down because of the store remodeling, I want to make sure I take advantage of that. Well, what are we going to eat this week? Let me tell you, we're going to eat really, really well. Um, for breakfast, we almost always have yogurt and fruit and coffee if we eat anything. I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of times we just don't eat. But I've also got bread for toast and avocados for avocado toast if we wanted to do that. I have a lot of oatmeal and cereal in the prepper pantry. Um, since I got this pasta... I could make some kind of pasta even with a little bit of vegetables in it, like this zucchini with a and mushrooms, and make a Caesar salad. Um, I'm going to make a Greek plate. That's why I got this tzatziki and this um, little toaster naan. And my Greek plate, I usually put avocado on it, roasted um, sweet potatoes, artichokes, um, some kind of bean, rice. I mean, it's just kind of a mixture of Mediterranean-inspired vegetables with some sauce. Going to have broccoli and beef over rice. And since I got this bread, it just sounded good to me, Hawaiian bread, I thought a ham and gouda grilled cheese sandwich with some tomato soup would be good. Now, lunches are always salads. I mean, we always have leftovers or salads. And so I've got a lot of vegetables for the salads. Uh, this is from my eclipse party this afternoon. <laughs> and when my company comes, I'm going to make a roast, mashed potatoes, asparagus, maybe some carrots to go with that, and maybe some noodles. I haven't made homemade noodles in a long time, probably a salad. And I got this fancy dressing that I could use. Most of the sauce and all of this mac and cheese, all of this soup mix, they're all going in the prepper pantry. I'm also going to make a little appetizer tray for when my company comes. These will all be side dishes or salads. And this, oh, I also really have been craving tacos. And so we're going to have tacos. I have a lot of hamburger in my freezer. I have a lot of stuff in my freezer. I don't even know what's in there. And it's time to clean it out. And so I'm really trying to stop myself from buying too much frozen stuff or meat so I can use it down and organize it and know what I have. And then all of this stuff, I mean, pimento cheese, that's going to go with my celery just because I love celery and pimento cheese. But the rest of this stuff, I'm not using this week. It just... It, it's just going to go in my pantry for future use. Well, I'm at Lowe's and I got all these plants for $115. Most of them, well not most of them, probably half of them are perennials. So I went all over looking for eclipse glasses and couldn't find any. And so John Wayne made me an eclipse box. This is probably like what we used in fifth grade or something. And it has a hole. Look, she's reacting to the eclipse. How's she reacting to us standing out here? <laughs> like, what are you idiots doing? That's pretty fuzzy when you... I don't know. No? It, you kinda... can see it. Yeah. My neighbors had some glasses, and I hate to say it, but it's way better looking through these glasses than through John Wayne's box. Well, guys, thanks for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. Um, grab yourself a cup of tea. I'm going to kind of catch you up on what's going on around here. Uh, we were in Dodge City. Now we're back home, but we go back to Dodge next week. I'm so tired of Dodge City. I don't know what else to tell you. It's a nice little town, but I'm ready to be home. Um, what else is going on? I have started planting my garden. 
I would like to say that you can offset your food costs by growing your own food, but I'm not sure that's really true. I just like to grow garden and things that you grow yourself just taste better. A homegrown tomato tastes so much better than a tomato that was shipped to the United States green from some other country. Um, and I just, it's just a hobby. I enjoy it. I, it probably saves me a little money. And this year I'm going to work on really trying to preserve the things I grow. So I didn't do any canning last year. I'm going to do canning this year. I'm going to dry um, things, make salsas. So stick around and I'll show you how to do all those things. It's not that I don't know how to do it. I do know how to do all those things. It just takes time and I always run out of time to actually do it. And then I think, ah, oh, jar of salsa is four bucks. What the, you know? <laughs> but this year I'm really gonna work hard on uh, preserving my harvest. And also there's no guarantee that your garden will do well. You know, I consider myself a pretty experienced gardener, but last year I had a horrible garden. It was, it just turned really, really hot about July. And it seems like I hardly got anything out of my garden except tomatoes after mid July. I kind of gave up because I was spending so much money on water. I trying to keep the garden watered that I thought I can't be saving any money. And if you live in the country, you know what I'm talking about. Rural water is pretty high. It's not like city water. You pay a little bit more premium of a price. Though I remember when my grandparents got rural water and they were so excited because when I was growing up, we were on well water, which is why I always drink tea because I hate the taste of water. It, to me, it tastes like dirt and uh, city water tastes like chemicals. But growing up, well water, who knows what all's down there? Probably some dead animals and who knows what's down there. It never tasted good. So we always drank tea, I think, to cover up the taste of the water. And like my grandparents' well, it would frequently go dry. And so they were always hauling water. They had a water truck. My grandpa would drive to town, fill up that water tank, drive back to the farm, empty it into the well. And they were just, I to this day, I can remember how excited they were when they finally got rural water. Um, I did tell you, um, I think a week or two ago, that I had had a really rough week. And don't you hate it when people do that? When they're like, I'm mad or I'm, I'm sad, but I'm not going to tell you about it. I'm just going to let you guess. I just want you to say, oh, what's wrong? Oh, I'm so sorry. I hate people who do that. It drives me insane. But um, I needed some time to process and I have kind of come to grips with it. So I can go ahead and tell you what it was that was upsetting to me a couple of weeks ago. Um, you've seen my dad on some of my videos. I'll try to sneak in a video of him here and there. And, uh, anyway, my dad's 83 and he got a cancer diagnosis. And of course that was upsetting. Anytime someone you love, uh, finds out they've got cancer, it's going to affect you. Of course it affects them way more than you, <laughs> but it, it affects you too, because you're worried about them and you're sad that they're going through such a horrible time. And uh, he starts, he started chemo today. And so I think he'll do well. Um, now I did tell you, I'd tell you a story to make you laugh or make you cry. That was the cry story. Now I'll tell you the story to make you laugh. Um, since the eclipse was today, this is an eclipse story. Many years ago, there was an eclipse. I don't remember what year it was, a long time ago. And John Wayne was at the fire department. And I called him up and I'm like, hey, I wanna look at this eclipse. I, you know, how can I look at it? Cause you know, when we were kids, you always like made a box or looked through a piece of paper somehow, I don't remember. And he's like, well, my grandpa's welding helmet is out in the shed. Go get grandpa's welding hel helmet and you should be able to put that on and you can, you should be able to view the eclipse through grandpa's welding helmet. I'm like, okay. So I go get grandpa's welding helmet and I put it on. I look up at the eclipse and I'm like, 
oh, this is horrible. Oh, it's horrible. It's painful. And so I'm like, I'm doing something wrong. I put it back on. I look up again like an idiot. You know, it takes me twice. I look up again. I'm like, oh, that hurts. And I call John Wayne. I'm like, this helmet is not helping. I'm like, I can't even hardly look at the sun. It, and I can't see anything. It's blinding me. And uh, he's like, well, run up here. Bring it up here. And so I do. I hop in the car because he was stationed not very far from where we lived. And I went up there. And uh, he looks at the helmet and he's like, oh. I'm like, what? And he goes, well, there's supposed to be a a, a filter in here and the filter's not in here. So I was just looking through clear glass. So John Wayne almost blinded me. Um, and I don't, I don't remember if I got to see the eclipse or not. Hopefully you got to see the eclipse and it was more exciting than it was here in Kansas. Anyway, that's all I have to tell you this week. Um, I'll post again next week and hopefully, uh, have a really good story for you next week. I think I think I have a good story. And so make sure you subscribe so you can hear the story and get the tips. I mean, the, the prices are going through the roof. It, it's, it's crazy. And we've got to help each other out with as many tips and tricks as possible so we can save as much money as possible. So leave your comments below if there's if you're a new subscriber and you have questions you can leave me a question and i'll try to answer it in the next video now go out there and find some bargains and i'll talk to you next week